Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will continue with another lens uh, which I want to show how you can adjust to use with an adapter and uh, on a uh, so you put the lens on a mirrorless camera in this case and it's the super multi-coated Takuma 3.5 and in the 135 millimeter lens and this old fellow which looks really good uh, has a nice bouquet and and is actually making uh, quite interesting pictures but if I want to use it with a uh, mirrorless camera hmm yeah like my Olympus OMD um, I can use an adapter and put it on if it's possible to unscrew it hmm. so and um, it's quite simple I mean you can just take the cap back cover on off and uh, screw the lens into the adapter and put the lens on here but that's it but what if the uh, infinity I mean if you want to have the infinity or maybe um, infinity in a closer uh, range I don't know but if it doesn't really fit onto whatever whatsoever uh, mirrorless camera you have well there is a way to do that so we just unscrew this so and put it put the cap on we'll not use that uh, it's quite easy I mean easy in a way uh, to do it just uh, so we know it correct now we need some tools just a few um, a very pointy uh, dentist tool could be whatever uh, size or type you want maybe a straight pointy needle or something but uh, actually we need a, uh, something to scratch in here so to come in to open the lens open up the lens we need uh, a few uh, <laughs> only one <laughs> rubber tool uh, which has the correct diameter here that can unscrew the nameplate I uh, like to go into the hardware store and find a uh, rubber gasket that has a good diameter that can be used on a lens um, maybe a camera or two but in lenses I mean you can use you can buy those um, rubber uh, tools in a handy set of nine with different diameter and it can also be used here or you can use the famous uh, rubber cones from Japan Hobby Tool it can also be useful but the case is that the rubber gasket here is quite sticky and I mean it's really good for those uh, because you can they are very cheap and you can buy them in many different sizes. So now put it on here and yeah, we'll just get to the arrows, unscrew the nameplate. That's it. And you unscrew it counterclockwise and just press good and it will loosen and unscrew it. Quite easy sometimes they bind a little um, on the thread but with a very sticky rubber tool <laughs> just like this gasket it uh, it works pretty good I'm not saying that those uh, won't work but um, those are a bit more sticky now the thing is <coughs> we actually need to come into the screws that hold the focusing ring itself 
So uh, my starting point in my reference is the infinity mark. I mean the index mark here, as you can see the orange here. And um, just to make things clear that we have to assemble it correct again, we want to set a mark down here. You probably can see it here. And uh, it is in line with the index mark. So you just set a mark here, down here, um, with a pointy uh, dentist tool or a needle or whatever you have. It's just so the front, this front ring, barrel, um, has the same position as, as before. You actually took it apart. Now, um, then we need to unscrew uh, three screws down here. There is one you can see down here, and there's one here, and there is also another one over here. That's the first three you unscrew. I use a 1.8 millimeter flathead screwdriver, which is quite long. And uh, it can be a little tricky to see what's going on. I hope you can see it in the camera. I mean, I can see it on my monitor. And we just need to catch the, the screw head, which can be difficult to see. So here we are. Then unscrew it. And with a magnetized screwdriver, it's quite easy. It will not work, even if you set it to near end, you will not come closer <laughs> to the screws uh, in that way. So, uh, just to make that clear. So, we unscrew that. Out of that screw, and the last one. So there, you can see the front ring is almost loose. And now we can take it off. So when you work in uh, with lenses like this, uh, be sure you have the infinity always the same position when you work with that kind of stuff. It will make it easier, so you have a kind of a reference in this case. So just lift off the uh, the barrel here, which is just not, it's not something special. Um, and then I have, uh, <laughs> I have um, enclosed my uh, screws, so I know where they are. Now, what we next need to do is making another scratch. Wow, again. You see, before unscrew the, uh, I mean, loosen the focusing ring, we need to set a mark. And again, it sets down there, it's in line with the index mark here. So we need to set both on the, you probably can see the brass, the, uh, the brass color. You need to set a mark and you also need to set a mark here on the focusing ring itself inside here. And it's also good to set a mark here on, um, uh, if you can see on the uh, on the side of the of the uh, lens it will say this area here where you can see so you know exactly where the position of the focusing ring is and the helicoid the focusing helicoid too now then we set it to infinity. That's my starting point. And um, 
then loosen, only loosen this screw, this screw down here, and there is the third one here. And we only need to loosen them because uh, it's only the focusing ring I need to move and uh, when I press it down I can also move the uh, focusing bar uh, I mean focusing helicoid. So let's just uh, begin with one of those screw. I know it can be difficult to see. Just put it here and just loosen it only a few turns maybe one or two turns should be enough then the this curve here hmm. they are not so easy to access but you can see here they they sit there now don't forget to set the um, focusing ring to infinity and then keep your hands on it so it will not move then loosen the last screw just a little so that's that's enough now then you can see I have my my uh, scratch hidden here and I can move my focusing ring quite easy but the focusing helicoid will not move but if I press down on it uh, I can get it to hopefully <laughs> I have to press enough it will not move hmm. well we can just uh, screw it in a little so it's not that uh, hard to move but I can turn the now I have screwed this in a little then I can um, move it there no let's see if I want the infinity I want the the lens closer to the to the uh, sensor so now I have I have moved the uh, I've loosened the <laughs> the screw sorry Loosen the screw here and this, all three, and move the uh, focusing ring. So infinity is not there where it was. So I set it there, just giving it a try, and then tighten the screw just a little. Then I can move the focusing uh, system. It will say the focusing ring and the focusing helicoid but it will not come so long longer in you can see if I set it there something like that now if I move it to over infinity look what how, how little it will move well it actually moves a lot so that's maybe enough to get it to work with the with your mirrorless camera and uh, if it's not enough well it's not possible to get it any further uh, because the uh, focusing I mean the focusing helicoid cannot move at all closer oh maybe it can okay how long will it go actually so there and we can give it another go let's see now it cannot come any further so let's see how it long how long it actually get if I have my mark in here in line with the index mark down here look how much I um, mean uh, how how much it move so if we move it to in, to over infinity it's actually a lot so it uh, should maybe be enough for you and I can just reset the focusing ring as it was 
because it fit in my case yeah you can see if you're pressing enough it can you can get it to move but you really have to try to press a lot but you can see I can move it and if I press enough I can just set it to infinity again there it is so and then if you are uh, satisfied with the with the setting you you want in this case well uh, just tighten the oh gosh difficult to see here just tighten the three screws and assemble the lens again and say okay that's all fine remember the mark here it goes with the index mark down here so there and simply put those screws in again and then you have an uh, an interesting lens to work with oh it's difficult to get the screws in here so and those two long screws can be a little tricky to put them in but it works and the last one and it's interesting to see what those old lenses actually can do to the picture or the video it can make it more interesting like uh, many new lenses with the very crystal clear and sometimes a bit boring <laughs> in my case well it depends on what you like or so now the nameplate on and uh, just screw it counterclockwise to until you get the, the thread can sometimes be a little tricky click it says and I can just try to use some of the other and it works pretty good so here we are back again uh, with a, a lens that can be modified uh, in some way but um, oh you can use the info in this uh, video and uh, yeah, there will be more videos from me. Hello, bye bye.